In this video, I will solve problem 2.4, which is a math break system from our textbook, Mechanical Variation from Graham. We have a helical spring that when fixed at one end and loaded at the other end requires a force of 100 newtons to produce an elongation of 10 millimeters. Then the ends of the springs are now rigidly fixed one end vertically above the other and the spring is divided into two pieces. A mass of 10 kilograms is attached at the middle point of each length. We want to determine the time taken to complete one vibration cycle when the mass is set to uh, vibrating in vertical direction. Let's use the first piece of elongation to get the constant of the spring. So we have we have a spring that when a force of 10 newtons is applied, the spring elongates 10 millimeters. So we know that the force of the spring is K times S, which is the elongation. Therefore, K will be F over S. That will be 10, it will be 100 newtons divided by 10 millimeters. But I will convert the 10 millimeters to meters. So that gives me a value for K of 10,000 newtons over meters. The second piece of information states that I will fix my spring in both sides and I will divide by two that spring. So the original constant of the spring is K and I will divide my spring in two springs. In order to those systems to be equivalent, let me call this new, and since I divided in right in the middle, in order to those two to be equivalent, since this is in series, I can write that K nu plus the inverse of K nu has to be the inverse of the total. So this is 2 K nu. So in order those two systems to be equivalent, the new constant of the spring has to be equal to two times the original constant of the spring. Then the last step, they take this system and put a mass in the middle. So I'm going to put a mass in the middle. And now this will be 2K and this will be 2K. These two spring, when I move the mass X, share same displacement. Therefore, in this case, there were springs in series. And now that I have the mass in the middle, the spring are in parallel. Because this, the displacement between the two ends of the spring is exactly the same. Therefore, equivalent constant will be 4K. So the natural frequency of my system is 4K N divided in M. That gives me a value if I substitute the constant of the spring that we got in the first step divided by the 10 kilograms that they say is the mass, I get a natural frequency of 63.25 radians over second. And the period is 2 pi over the natural frequency. If I substitute that number, I get that the period is equal to 0 0.0993 seconds. And that is the time 
taken to complete one vibration cycle when it is set to vibrate vertically.